Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you through the process to test a three-phase regulator rectifier. Now the one that we're going to be looking at is on our Yamaha T60 motor and all I'm going to need to test it is a good multimeter, which I already have. So if you're ready, we'll dive in and take a peek at this one. So let's go. All right, guys, before we dive into this, what are some of the conditions that would make you think that you need to replace or look at the regulator rectifier? Well, first and foremost, well, your boat's not charging the battery as it should. Now, before you dive into this, you should eliminate the easier possibilities first. Go ahead and look at your battery. Make sure the wires aren't corroded. Make sure the terminals are clean and tight. Make sure the battery is up to the task, that it's been tested and is in good operating order. Check your internal harnesses as far as going point to point to make sure there's no corrosion, breaks, or kinks in the line that would be uh, damaging the, the harness itself. And once you've eliminated all those possibilities, then we can take a peek on the inside of it. So let me show you how to do that. Now this is the voltage regulator rectifier. And what we're aiming to do here is actually test six diodes on the inside of it. Now those six diodes, they take the AC signal that comes out of your stator and rotor assembly, which is an AC current, and they rectify it and then smooth it out, usually using a capacitor. And all those three phases, they become just a single regulated DC output voltage. But what we're after and what typically fails is one or more of those diodes. Now on some units, you can go in and test all six. Others, they may be masked because the actual regulator aspect or the regulator part of the circuit may be masking where you can't see or actually read those additional three diodes. But I'm pretty sure on the Yamaha, we should be able to test all six. And to do so, like I said, we're just gonna be using a multimeter. We're gonna set it over to what they call it, a diode test. And the diode is that little arrow with a block in front of it. And of course we have to toggle over to get to it. So what we're gonna be looking for is a set of three diodes and we're gonna to try to forward bias those and we should read around 0.5. Then we'll reverse the lines, try to reverse bias them, and at that point you should see an open circuit. Then we will go over to the other side and test the other three if we're able to see them in the same format. We'll try to forward bias them, and then we'll try to reverse bias them to make sure that they're stopping the flow of current when they should be. So these are our three wires coming down from our stator and rotor assembly. And this would be the output heading over to eventually your battery. And the lines that we're gonna be interested in are that positive right here and the negative. We're gonna be using those two lines to either forward or reverse bias depending on which set of diodes that we're looking at. All right, we're gonna start on the negative side and we're gonna to try to forward bias them across. So to do that, we're gonna go in with a positive side of the volt ohm meter, attach it to that point. Then we're gonna use the negative side and we're gonna to touch each one and we should read around 0.5 volts. 0.524, 52, and then the last one up top, 525. So they're letting current pass in the correct direction. Now let's try to reverse bias that same set. And we should be getting zeros across the board here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now let's switch over to the positive side of the plug and we're gonna to try to forward bias those by connecting the negative to that side using our positive lead. Now we're gonna test the other three diodes. 0.527, and the last one, 527. Now to make sure that they're actually stopping the flow 
put the positive line from the multimeter over here. And try each one again. Nothing. 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 Now we already knew this was an operational unit. What conditions would be present if there was an issue on one or more of the diodes inside? Well, when you were trying to forward bias any one of them, if you saw an open circuit, that would be an issue. If you also saw something close to zero, that would also indicate an issue. Well, on the forward bias condition, you should be looking for something in between 0.45, maybe up to 0.5152 at the most, depending on what type of diodes they actually used on the inside. Now, I do want to warn you, this test doesn't work for every single manufacturer out there, as some of them get a little bit more advanced as far as their ability to self-regulate on one side of the equation or one side of the, or one bank of those diodes. You may run into other circuitry that this particular meter can't test past. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Now, keep in mind that we did the tests that pertain to just this particular regulator rectifier. There are different variations out there, so you need to take that in consideration when you're trying to figure yours out. Well, listen, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We do want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.